Hey, uh, Shalom Ram. <clears throat> this is uh, Brother Gabar Allah coming back at you again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem All praises and glory due unto Yahweh Baha Shem Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. And much love unto the Akim that's out there pushing this truth in sincerity and offer vain glory. Also, may Yahweh Baha Shem bestow more blessings and spiritual wisdom upon uh, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and on down, okay? May you help us, you know, shine walk with you. So, yeah, so um, I'm going to start off with, uh, with uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 11. And it says, And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. And um, that's what we're seeing right now. And these are all signs that Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior, is going to come back. And just recently, uh, you know, yesterday, a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake hit Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and Cuba. And, um, you know, a lot of people, they were shocked. Uh, I have some footage here. I won't play everything because it's a bit long. It's about four minutes. You can go check it out yourself. You can look at the title here. And you can just select this channel, just type that in. You know, you can watch the carnage yourself, you know, and this is all by the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, and these are all signs that our Lord and Savior is going to come back, and it's evident because we're living in these times. All the prophecies in this book are coming to pass. We're living in it. You know, you people can, can you people can deny it, you can say whatever you want to say, but you know, we're living it. We're living in the Bible, we're living in the book. We're living the book right now. It's as it's as it's as it was written, and you know what that means. This is all about Yahweh Shai. This is all about Yahweh Shai because what does the Bible say? For I am the whole volume of the book, which is talking about Yahweh Shai. So we're living in Yahweh Shai's world. Yahweh Shai predicted all of these things in the book. We're this is Yahweh Shai's world, okay? And he's coming back real soon to show you that, okay? People, when are you people going to get it through your thick little domes, man? But you won't get it until it's too late. Um, so let me get this. You know, the, the Lord, he created bad times here in Jamaica, in Cuba. You know, he created all these bad times. Everybody thinks that Satan did it. Nope, Satan didn't do this. God did this. And you know why? Because all the Most High's ways are judgment. Okay, this is all judgment. This is all this is all the way this is the way that the Lord can judge and to show his power and his might. Because at the end of the day the Lord's right. You people need to suffer over there in Jamaica. Little little Benjamin. The land of Benjamin is wicked. You know what you Benjamites are into? Dance hall. Shaking your ass. Sleeping with other man's wives. Adultery's heavy over there, man. You know, here it is. You'll tell you you know, they groom their little sons and their daughters to hate Batiman. Right or to hate faggots, but then they'll tell. But then they don't get on their sons and their daughters for committing adultery. When adultery, it, it's a form of homosexuality. When you think of it, man. So you, you Benjamites, man, you're hypocrites. You're all a bunch of hypocrites, man. Hypocritical nation, man. And that's why the Lord He sent Esau, the rod of His anger, the the the, the modern day Assyrian on your ass because you 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 nation you Israelites, man, you're hypocrites bunch of fucking hypocrites man and that's why you're being judged now I, I said a little bit earlier a lot of people were shocked yeah you know what that reminds me of when the Lord is gonna come back like a thief in the night man because this was a thief in the night the Lord he stole your joy he stole the plans that you made for that day he stole the joy out of your eyes out of your mouth to judge you man you people didn't you people didn't think that an earthquake an, earth, an earthquake was gonna come and ruin your day Ruin your homes, ruin your roads, ruin your swimming pools, <laughs> right? You thought you thought you were gonna continue on going to work, you know, go go to a restaurant, eat, be with your mom, be with your daughter, do all your bullshit. Okay, so here is um, First Thessalonians chapter five verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. 
That's right. The Lord's going to catch you while you're off guard. Because you don't know when a thief is going to come. That's the whole point of being a thief. You don't you don't let you don't let the person that you're going to rob from know when you're coming. You're not going to make yourself all announced. That's not that's the whole point of being a thief, you dumb fuck. So the Lord ain't going to tell you when your destruction is coming. But the men in the know, we know that it's coming real soon because of the prophecies written in this book. We may not know the right time, date, the location where the Lord is going to come. The longitude and lat lat latitude of when he's going to crack them skies. We don't know that shit. But we know through through the book that he's coming real soon because of the prophecies that has been taking place on this earth right now. Right? Verse 3. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So when destruction comes, you're not going to escape. And you're going to feel like a woman given birth and you know funny thing about woman giving birth i'm gonna tell birth i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you a little story man because i have a friend who works in the hospital okay and um she was telling me because she she um she helps deliver the babies right um and she was telling me when when women when they go into labor and when they start giving birth they look fucking terrible man and that's how you people are gonna look in that day. You're gonna look terrible. Your hair is gonna be all over the place. You're gonna you're gonna shit your pants. You're gonna shit yourself because she was telling me that when when women when they start giving birth, they push so hard that they end up shitting themselves because of all that force for the baby when it's being pushed out. You know, and that looks awful. It looks nasty. Everywhere's all bloody. You know, you're in pain. You're screaming. You're gritting your teeth. You know, you need an epidermal shot, right? That's going to be you people in that day. You're going to look terrible like a woman giving birth, man. You're going to look fucking terrible, man. Look like shit. All right? So it says, for when they shall say peace and safety, that's what a lot of people are saying now. You know, it's another day. It's the year 2020. But year 2020, it doesn't look too safe. I don't know if you noticed, man, you had Kobe being killed. You had... Uh, the, the Iranian general being bombed to death in in um, in in Iraq, right? You have the coronavirus all coming out. You have the earthquakes in Jamaica, and all a bunch of other stuff. You got people killing each other, shootings, right? Trump being impeached. What the hell, man? <laughs> Does that look like safety to you? That should sh that should tell you alone that the Lord is coming back, man. Okay, the Lord started off the year 2020 with a bang, man, literally, with a literal bang, right? So let me see, let me let me read this here. Uh, For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That's right, you ain't going to escape. And ultimately, you ain't going to escape the chip. You ain't going to escape the missiles, man. Those, are de those, who, those who are destined to take the chip, you're going to take it. Those who are destined to eat a missile, you're going to take it, man. Okay, because the Lord, he already has people written in the book of life, man. Actually, matter of fact, let me get that. Book of life. Because a lot of people aren't written in the book of life. The only people that are written in the book of life are pretty much the elect. The chosen few that are going to build up this kingdom, man. And everybody else, you're either going to be put to death or you're going to be put in slavery. All right? So um, let's get the uh, book of life. And everybody keeps trying to change this word like it ain't going to come true. This book was written eons ago, motherfucker. All right? Excuse my language. This book was written eons ago. This was this book was written before you existed, man. Okay? So what? how the hell are you going to try and dictate the future and tell the Lord what and what he cannot do? The hell is wrong with you, man? Right? So let's, uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the prophecy of this book, I'm sorry, let me read that again. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, and that's right, that's what a lot of people are trying to take away from this book, man. They're trying to take away the prophecies of the book. People are trying to say that Yahweh Shai ain't coming back. People are trying to say that they're Yahweh Shai, Right? People are trying to say that the earth, you know, the Lord isn't going to come back. 
Um, he, he isn't going to bring plagues. So, so that means you're taken away from the prophecy of this book. Right? The Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life. And that's a lot of people, man, because a lot of people, they don't believe in this Bible. A majority of you people, you don't believe in the prophecies that are written in this book. So guess what? If you don't believe in the Lord, then the Lord's going to take your life away. And act like you never existed. Right? You you people are just amoeba in the sight of Yahweh Bashem and Shai. You, you people are just little micro... You know, you people are just microscopic, man. Just microorganisms in the sight of Yahweh Bashem and Shai. He runs this bitch. You just live here. And you people are going to realize that real soon, man. You people out there. Or especially our people, the nation of Israel. The Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city. That's right, the kingdom. <laughs> and, uh, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testified these things says, Surely I come quickly, our man, even so. Come, Lord Yahawashai. The grace of our Lord Yahawashai be with you all. Amen. That's right. Okay. So uh, let's look at some of this stuff, man. Let's play some footage. I'm going to skim through the video. All right. Did I read uh, Luke? Yeah, I already read that. So let me uh, go here. Earth quick, guys. Earth quick. Earth quick, guys. Earth quick. Earth quick. Earth quick. Earth quick. Fourth list. And you know we have brothers in Jamaica too Right we have brothers there too And you know they're sending up their prayers to Yahweh Bashem El Shai And I'm sure they're protected man Because you know what the Lord he protects his own He protects his followers he protects his sheep But you people out there if you don't have a hedge around you You're finished man So let me get that Spirit of the Lord uh, the angels encampeth around uh the ones that fear the Lord. Alright, so <clears throat> Psalms chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of Yahweh Shemiah encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So yeah, I'm sure the brothers in Jamaica, they're fine. They're fine right now. You know, they're 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 good. Got food in their belly. You know, I'm sure they are, and I know they are because the scripture says so, man. The scripture says so. Okay? And I believe what the scriptures say, man. I don't believe what anybody else says. Blood clot. Earth quick, guys. Earth quick, guys. Earth quick, Jesus, guys. Life right now. guys. Life right now. guys. And you're calling on the wrong name. And that's why this happened to you, man. Because you called on Jesus, man. What you should have been saying, Oh, Yahweh Shai. Oh, Yahweh Shai, save me. Oh, Yahweh Shai. That's what you should, be, you should have been saying, man. That's why a lot of people, a lot of people are going to have a rude awakening in that day when the Lord comes back and he cracks them skies, man. And he doesn't look the way you think he looks. <laughs> and a lot of, and when you say, when you come back saying that name, he's going to be like, I don't know you. I don't know you. That's not my name. A lot of people, a lot of people don't know who Yahweh Shai is. A lot of people don't, man. People are gonna get a rude awakening. Earthquake! 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 Blood clots. Still shaking. Still shaking. Still shaking, man, but it's smaller. Still shaking, man, but it's smaller. Blood, I strong. Blood, I strong. Yo, I feel the thing that's still. I was sitting down there and I feel the thing that's a little bit small. And I feel the thing that's small. It's still going in. It's still going in. Yeah, man, it's still. Yeah, man, it's still. Yeah, man, it's still. Yeah, man, it's still. Let's get to a bit. That's right, Yahweh is the power to be feared, man. Let me get a precept here. 
Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. Who created this, man? The Lord did this. The Lord did this. Okay? Not Satan. The Lord did this. Yahweh Bashan Shai did this. Satan can't do shit. So this is Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. So the Lord, he creates the light side and the Lord, he creates the dark side. So that means the holy angels on the right and he also creates um, the dark demonic angels on the left. Okay, so Lord, he creates light and creates darkness. What's so hard about that? I make peace and create evil. So Lord, he creates peace. And guess what? That's why he made Yahweh Shai, the king of peace, Shiloh. Okay, so Yahweh Shai, he's the peace. And I and create evil. Okay, and the Lord, he does create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Lord does all these things, man. Lord, and it's in capital letters, L-O-R-D. That means Yahweh, the Father. He does it. And this is evil, man. Because all evil means is just a bad time. Bad times. And this is bad times right here. First of all, um, the Lord, he came. He didn't come on man's schedule. You know, people thought they were going to do their day-to-day -day thing. Go to work, go to school, you know, eat, eat their food, eat their porridge, eat their patties. You know, because Benjamites like patties. All right? I'm going to eat your patties and your oxtails. You thought you were going to do all those things, your jerk chicken. But guess what? The Lord brought an earthquake. That's evil, man. That's bad times. That's bad timing, man. What do you got to say about that? The Lord did all of that. Okay? He did that. So that's what I got from there, man. <clears throat> that's all that I have from there. Uh, let's get uh, Isaiah 24. Um, let's see what we got here. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 4. The earth mourneth and fade away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do language, langu languish. The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broke the ever broken the everlasting covenant. And um, yeah, the, who are the first people to break the covenant with the Lord? is really the Israelites. And then really it's because you Israelites. That's why... Um, the heathens are acting the way they are right now. You know, it's really your fault. You Israelites' fault, man. If you would have just stayed on track and did what you were supposed to do, you wouldn't have all this turmoil, man. You wouldn't have the earth being faded away. The earth wouldn't be so defiled because you have you have a, a wicked nation ruling the earth, and that's why the earth is polluted. That's why you have earthquakes. Because this is just this is just a result of sin, okay? That's why the, that's why the Earth is acting the way it's acting right now, okay? Shooting barium oxide up in up in uh, the heavens with chemtrails and stuff. You know, you got vaccines, you got the coronavirus, right? This is all this is all of the Earth being defiled, man, because of the inhabitants, right? So. Uh, they yeah, have transgressed the laws. They didn't follow the laws of the Bible, the law, statutes, and commandments. 613 laws, not just 10 commandments. Okay, 613 laws. So the whole entire law. Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, you, you know, you change the ordinances of the earth. Right? Uh, light, light is, uh, you know, light is, um, light is considered darkness. Darkness is considered light. Change it all the ordinances of the earth, all the orders, all the patterns of the earth. You changed. Broken the everlasting covenant, therefore have to curse the vow of the earth. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned. A few men left. The new wine mourneth, the vine languished. All the merry hearted do sigh. The mirth of the tabard cease. The noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the harp, harp ceaseth. Ceaseth. Okay. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. And, um, yeah, you know, um, the mirth of this place is going down. You just had Kobe Bryant die. That was a big-time player, man. He, he was the joy to millions. You know, I even grew up watching him. And, you know, for a moment when I heard of his death, I was like, damn. You know, that hit me for a moment. But then, you know what? Those scriptures kicked in. Reality kicked in, those scriptures. And then I was like, fuck Kobe, right? Because he was wicked, man. But 
that just goes to show you your stars are falling, the music sucks, even the drink and the alcohol sucks, right? Everything's garbage in this kingdom, right? The city of confusion is broken down. And what's that city of confusion? Babylon, because that's what Babylon means, confusion, right? The city of confusion is broken down. Yeah, this whole city is shit, right? Because you have uh, the infrastructure is, you know, terrible. Roads are not being built properly, right? You know, uh, this this place is just it's uh, it's not it's not like how it used to. You know, it had a standard, man, and that standard is dropping. It used to have an A plus standard, now it's a D plus standard. The hell is that, man? Okay, um, every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a cry for wine in the streets. All joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. <laughs> in the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. And you know, you know what also breaks down a city? Natural disasters that the Lord creates too. Right? It's not just what man does, it's, it's actually what the Lord does too. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that out. Um, till next time, I just want to give all praises, glory, and honor. Do unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, to belong to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Till next time, Kwam Yahshua Allah Shalom. And a Bible ball.